So we all know by now that the secret to financial success is to develop passive income streams that generate wealth while you sleep. But the question remains, how on earth do you go about doing that? So if you've looked online, you would have seen video after video of screaming at you to use the new generative AI tools like ChatGPT or Midjourney to kickstart your creativity and get your passive income stream off the ground. The videos really do make you feel like the lifestyle of your dreams is just within your grasp. The trouble is that's only part of the story. And if you don't address two other issues, well, you're not going to get very far. Well, in this video, I'm going to answer three questions that are essential to starting an online passive income stream. And these are, one, what product you should create and how can you create it? This is the creative challenge. Two, how do you get your product in front of people? And that's the visibility challenge. And then three, assuming that people want to buy your product, how do you get your product to the customer? And that's the fulfillment challenge. So let's just get straight to it. Number one, the creative challenge. What product should you create and how? Well, in short, digital products. You see, products that can be shared digitally are always going to be the best option because the barriers to entry are just so low. It's a whole different ball game if you're going to create something physical like a, I don't know, a microphone or a toy or some physical tool. But that being said, there are ways to get your digital product out into the real world. And I'll show you how to do that later. The second reason why digital products are the best place to start is that now we can make use of the very latest in generative AI tools to help address the creative challenge. What should I create and how? Combining tools like ChatGPT and Midjourney, we can not only decide what it is we want to create, but also then go ahead and get the AI to actually create it. Here's an example. So let's say we want to create and sell, I don't know, clip art, right? You might think, well, clip art, that's not going to make a lot of money, is it? But then if you look online at places like Etsy.com, you can see loads of people selling clip art. And even though their products are only like one or two pound uh, a time, the volume that they're selling shows that they are making a tidy profit. So how can we get into this market? Well, we can use these generative AIs to get going. And here's how. Let's first find out what a good clip art to generate could be. We could do a ton of research and spend hours compiling sales stats and customer demand, but instead we could use a generative AI like ChatGPT. ChatGPT has taken the world by storm since it was released in I think September last year answer in the comments if I've got it wrong please and then since then it's kept on generating headlines as people have found different ways to use it some countries because this is so revolutionary some countries have banned it like Italy for example of citing privacy concerns but I think really it's about just being a bit wary of how it might be used and maybe abused. There's even been a public plea from some very heavy hitters in the technology industry, well, Elon Musk, name drop, for a halt of any further development in this space while we try to catch up and figure out what it is we want this new technology to be. But anyway, for us, we just want it to give us some ideas about clip art. I think we're on safe ground. So anyway, let's go to ChatGPT and create an account. It's free, absolutely free. So once you set up, you log in and you type best-selling clip art ideas to get a list of great clip art ideas. Well, here's the list chat gpt produced for me now you can get as detailed as you like to create exactly what you're looking for but sometimes it's better to be a bit less detailed to get the ai to create something that you might never even have thought of so you can also do follow-up prompts and develop an idea in a specific direction really the abilities of this tool is still not yet well understood and you can learn a lot by simply experimenting with it so let's choose um, seasonal clip art. And as Easter's just gone, let's focus on Easter clip art for now. So we need to generate some clip art in this space. Well, instead of hiring graphic designers and, and artists, which is what you would have had to have done or had those skills yourself, today we can use another generative AI tool that specializes in image generation called Midjourney. And this will do all the hard work and really the results are quite outstanding. So Midjourney is a tool that takes in prompts, much like ChatGPT, but instead of producing text, its sole purpose is to produce imagery. Like ChatGPT, the limits of this tool are still not that well understood. Just by browsing through the images that other users have created, you can see how diverse and detailed, and in some cases quite bizarre, the output can be. Once again, you can get as detailed as you like with your prompts, and you can take a given design and enhance it and change it and do pretty much anything you like with it to get to an image that you're satisfied with. For now, though, we just want some cool clip art designs, so let's log into Midjourney and type into the prompt, and let's type in Easter clip art designs. Here are some of the designs we get back. Now, it takes a little while, but after a few minutes, you'll see four images come through. And you can redo that if you're not happy with it until you get something that looks suitable. 
when you find one that you're happy with, then you press one of the buttons underneath from U1 to U4. That represents the four images that you presented with. So let's choose one of these. And um, the U stands for upscale. So it's going to make a bigger, high resolution, detailed picture of that particular sample. Now, one of the things about clip art is that you've got to have a transparent background because you're going to stick that clip art on thing. So you want to get rid of the background. That's really easy to do. You go to a website, something like Remove BG, put it in, uh, load it in, press the button and it will just remove the background, it's so simple. So now we have our digital product, so what do we do with it? Well, we need now to answer the next challenge, the visibility challenge. How do we get this in front of potential buyers? So as we've seen, places like Etsy are a fantastic way to display our products and let people buy them. There are also other places like uh, Shopify and Wix and Squarespace where you can do exactly the same thing, set up your business and just go through their registration process and you're up and running within minutes. Really, really great. So let's dive in. Let's take Etsy as an example to set up. You simply need to go to Etsy.com, click sign up, and follow their registration process. If you're producing a purely digital product, then guess what, you're already done, that's it. Etsy customers can come, look at the products that you're selling, buy one, enter their payment details, download it, and you get the payment, and that is that done. If instead you want to produce digital designs that can be put onto physical objects like t-shirts or mugs or phone cases or anything that you can think of, then you're facing the next challenge, and that is the fulfillment challenge. How do you get your products to your customers? Well, back in the old days, you'd need uh, to buy an inventory of stock, say, I don't know, plain white mugs, and have a place where you could put all your designs onto the mugs, keep them there until people want them, and then ship them out, and it would be a real cottage industry for you, keep you very busy. This is not what we want here. We want a passive income stream with minimal amount of work. So these days, these new companies that have come out, which are print-on-demand companies, and you can outsource all of that work to these companies with really very little financial commitment. And the places like Printify or Gelato or Shopify all allow you to sign up and use them to fulfill your orders directly to your customers with very flexible plans ranging from almost free to to their platinum offerings super easy so now you know how to set up a digital product business that leverages the latest tools in ai global e-commerce platforms and super flexible minimal commitment print on demand services it really couldn't be any easier than this to get started on your passive income streams and set yourself on the path to financial freedom. So if you've liked this video and you've got something valuable from it, then please, please consider subscribing. Increasing subscribers is really the only ways that channels like mine can actually survive and continue to make videos in this space. Thank you.